Hi, I'm Joe Cernick. I'm Coach Wynn. My name is Doug Jorgensen. My name is Trayvon Call. My name is Joseph Barrow. Uh, first, oh shoot. Good afternoon. There's an announcement. I'm interested in video game design. My interest is theater. Really good food, um, cycling, skiing, uh, water sports, and um, anthropological studies. My personal interests, as you can find on my Facebook page, are football, basketball, those are my two main sports. Uh, that's why I coach. I love reading, I love writing, I love so many things. Let me think, what else do I love? Oh, I definitely love hanging out with my daughter, hanging out with my wife. I love eating, I love trying new restaurants, so I go, anytime I go out of town, I love going to all the different restaurants. Um, I love learning, like, history, I do that a lot, and just learning in general. I love to study different random things, that's why I always have these random things that I bring up in class. So, basically, I'm a really interesting person, and I love myself. I love being in the outdoors, I love being out in nature. I love the mountains, I love the fish. Anything that can get me outside is, is great. I began in sixth grade. Probably about um, end of 2010, I started doing digital design after I got my tablet. It started when you know, my parents, uh, my parents have a cabin on Mill Creek, and I loved that ever since I was a kid. Still love it up there. They would take me to Yellowstone. I uh, love Yellowstone. Uh, when I was a little kid, I drew a lot. But I didn't start doing theater until I was outside of college. Football is one that's kind of interesting because when I grew up, I was a huge basketball fan. My parents didn't let me play Little League football because I was too small. So I actually didn't play football until high school. And it was, wasn't my first love until I was probably a senior year, in my senior year of high school, when I really just started to love it and I've always just followed it and been a part of it ever since. Uh, I liked it, it was fun. My mother and my awesome friends, they're just like, you're really good at this, so I'm gonna keep doing it, and I'm all, that's right. Probably the art style of the game I designed for, it's Team Fortress 2, it's a first person shooter by Valve. It takes references from J.C. Liondecker and multiple others, such as Norman Rockwell for its art style, and something like that's always heavily interested me and my love for art in general. Just, uh, I just fell in love with the game. I loved like the violence of it, but also the strategy of it. So, it just incorporated everything that I loved. And it's a really uh, complex game, so that's why I like the coaching part. I believe you, you're taught, I mean, you learn technique and then it, then you, the technique goes away and it just becomes part of you, much like a musician. Probably writing. Nobody in my family was really into writing. They read, but I started writing a lot in high school um, and just really picked it up more in college. And now I write all the time on my own just for fun. And I'm going to write a novel one day. I've actually started a novel three different times, but I never like where it's going. So I have a new idea for one that I'm going to start writing this summer. So we'll see. And then it will be required reading for my ninth grade classes so I can make some money. Man, that's a great question. Huh. My energy? My energy? <laughs> Not taught to me. Just genetics, babe. And the genes. Well, I'm entirely self-taught in digital design. I had to learn everything by myself. That includes the various programs, how to work the tablet, how to use Photoshop, how to do 3D modeling, and how to do various other things for it. I think I was born with some of it, but I've had to work really hard to get better at it. So, I think you're only born with so much talent, but it's up to you. You have to work at it to improve. What you're born with really isn't going to get you too far. Uh, well, I've always been relatively good at drawing, but I wouldn't say I would have entirely been interested in styles such as Norman Rockwell's and things like that had I not been exposed to it early on. Maybe? Uh, I guess, yes. Um, I think I would, yes.
Uh, I think maybe I was encouraged to go into education because, you know, because uh, I look so intelligent. I'm really good looking, so I'm supposed to be a ladies' man, but I'm very faithful to my wife, so. Other than that, I'm really small. Like, I was really small in high school, so I wasn't supposed to be an athlete. I was five foot nine, 135 pounds my senior year, so nobody expected me to especially play football, um, but it's something I was just determined to do, so that's probably the uh, main stereotype that I've busted. Expected to be black when I was younger. Uh, I'm afraid I couldn't fulfill this duty. So, I am a skin's kind of lighter than most, so sorry. In, in a way, yes. People always think of me as a smart kid because of my glasses and my generally high grades. I also know a lot of different like little tidbits of trivia and things like that. Sometimes, yeah. Um, I think you get stereotyped to get caught in pictures, people expect things of you, people who are, you know, I always expected to, you know, play basketball, although I didn't play basketball very much because I was tall. Um. Discovered new interests along the way. Some of the things I was really interested in high school, I'm not interested in anymore. Um, for example, in high school, I, when the Nintendo came out, I was I loved that. Now I don't really care about video games as I've had other things that are more important. Um, spending time with my family has become more of a priority as I've gotten older. So things change as your position in life changes, definitely. I love it even more every day. Well, since I first started doing that, I've become interested in different various forms of art styles, such as um, hand-painted, uh, digital realism, and other things like that. Much more relaxed, much more forgiving, much more at ease with me um, and only myself and flaws and all. Um. A lot of that is because I've gotten older, I've gotten married, I have a kid now, um, and you just prioritize differently. So the things that are really important to you when you're young and single aren't important when you're old and married, I guess. <laughs> I think they've grown just because I've learned the fact that I've learned more about it and like that just makes it even more exciting and I get like an adrenaline rush every time. I think they've changed because one can only do so much of a single art style until it gets tiring and worn out. Personal, personal, personal interest. Personal, personal, personal interest. Personal, personal, personal interest. I love, I love eating, eating. I love, love, being, love being in the outdoors. Really, really good food, food. Video, video game, video game design. Thea, 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 I love myself. I'm a really interesting person. I am, I am back though. I just don't act like 20, 20, 20, 10, 10. Babe, babe, babe. One of my life's desires is, you know, that competition with women. I love myself. He's always trying to be like me. I'm really good looking. He watches everything that I do and tries to copy that. I'm a really interesting person. I'm Coach Wynn. My name is Doug Jorgensen. My name is Trayvon Call. My name is Joseph Barrow. Thank you! Great.